What is a Just Accepted manuscript? Just Accepted is a service to the research community and, and furthers our commitment to the rapid dissemination of scientific information. Authors publishing their research in selected ACS journals may choose to have their accepted but unredacted version of their manuscript posted online as a Just Accepted manuscript. Unredacted means that it hasn't been technically edited or copy edited or, or formatted. Some people ask whether the Just Accepted Manuscript is something that can be cited, and the answer to that is unequivocally yes. You can use the DOI to cite a Just Accepted Manuscript. Just Accepted Manuscripts shouldn't be considered the final article of record within the scientific literature. Changes introduced by technical editing or galley proofreading may change some of the content of the article. You can find out more about the Just Accepted Manuscript service by going to the publication's website at pubs.acs.org. Why do I need to enter all of the co-author names? They're already on the manuscript. In ACS Paragon Plus, the email address is a unique identifier. So if you're uploading, when you're uploading your co-authors, that co-author may share a name with another user in the database. So the email address is the way that we can identify an exact user and make an appropriate match for that manuscript. Um, in addition, Co-authors sometimes, depending on the journal and their processes, will receive um, emails or updates about their manuscript. Um, as well, they can log. Co-authors can log into the system, into ACS Paragon Plus, and view their revisions, view the manuscript file. So, in their email address is how they gain access to the system. As long as the you provide the correct name, full name, and email address an account can be created in the editorial office upon receipt of the manuscript. ACS must receive a completed and signed journal publishing agreement in order to publish your manuscript in one of our journals. Uh, it's important for you to enter all of the co-authors' names when you're submitting your manuscript because the, the ACS Paragon Plus system uses uh, those names that are entered in order to create the EJPA form for you to sign. This is important. Your article should be submitted to only one journal, and you should comply with the ethical guidelines for that journal. Clicking these boxes indicates that you are in compliance with these requirements. I just hit the submit button, but forgot to include my supporting information. What should I do? The first thing is don't panic. Um, there are always ways that you can fix a manuscript. One thing I will tell you not to do is, is don't push the back button on your web browser. Instead, what you should do if you forgot to submit your supporting information or a cover letter or some of your figures are inaccurate, you can email our help desk at support at services.acs.org and they'll be able to help you correct your manuscript.
What is the Electronic Journal Publishing Agreement? The Electronic Journal Publishing Agreement is exactly what it sounds like. It's an electronic version of our copyright status form. In order to publish a manuscript within ACS Publications, you need to complete this form. The Electronic Journal Publishing Agreement will be made available to you on your ACS Paragon Plus dashboard after your manuscript has been assigned to an editor. We prefer that you complete the form electronically, but you can also complete a manual version of the form by printing it and signing it. For more information about the Journal Publishing Agreement, you can go to the publication's website where there's extensive information about copyright and your rights as an author. You may also contact our help desk staff at support at services.acs.org should you have any additional questions. What can I do to make sure that my article is processed as quickly as possible? As a former scientist myself, I know how important it is to get your research out as quickly as possible. The things that you can do at the submission process um, include really making sure that you're submitting your article to the correct journal. Take a look at the information for authors. This has all kinds of great information about what the scope of the journal is and who the targeted audience is. Um, it also gives you information about the different things that you need to complete your manuscript submission. If the editors of the journal ask in your cover letter that you justify the scientific merit of the paper, be sure to do things like that. Um, it, you know, ensure that you've uh, included all of the different pieces. Do you need to include um, suggested reviewers? Do you need to ask uh, or recommend uh, various associate editors um, who might handle your manuscript? Do you need to add the uh, abstract in your cover letter? Be sure to follow all of the instructions um, and be sure that your paper really fits within the scope of the journal. I think those are a couple things that will help you get your manuscript through the, the peer review process faster. Uh, once the manuscript is submitted to ACS Paragon Plus, it goes into the editorial um, office, the editor-in-chief office first, where it will first go through um, an administrative checklist. So this is where authors want to be sure to adhere to the author guidelines. Complete, sign, and submit all forms promptly. Include all authors during the submission process and meet journal office deadlines. All journal offices have specific guidelines for revisions, review times, so meeting these guidelines will help um, increase the speed of the peer review process. If the editor asks for revisions, what can I do to speed up the process? First and foremost, don't think that the criticisms of a referee or a reviewer are a criticism of you as a person. They're meant to be a constructive way to improve the science. Uh, one of the things that you, can, you should do when you're submitting a revised manuscript is to address all of the comments of a reviewer in a point-by-point -point manner um, within your cover letter that accompanies your revised manuscript. Uh, it's often helpful to take all of the comments sort of reviewer one, then reviewer two, and then reviewer three and address each of the comments that he or she has made. Um, I think you also, as a scientist, have the right to say, I'm not going to address a comment of a particular reviewer, but it's really important at that point to note to the editor of the manuscript why you're choosing not to do that.